Well, more problems for the troubled Denver jail. Five inmates overdosed yesterday on what is believed to be crack cocaine. Denver 7's Molly Hendrickson's digging into this. So how did the drugs get in there? Do they know? At this point, they don't know that's what they're looking into. Now, typically, when an inmate is brought here to the jail, they have to go through a metal detector. Then they have to take a shower. They're given a uniform before they're taken into one of the pods. Now, we know these five inmates were all being housed in an area that houses longer term inmates. So either those drugs came from another inmate or somebody on the inside. <laughs> Tonight, the Denver jail admitting another major mistake after five inmates overdosed on suspected crack cocaine Thursday afternoon. We're looking into how this may have happened. Obviously, it's very disappointing. Jail communications director Simon Criddle says it went down in pod four, an area that houses long-term inmates. All went to the hospital and survived. When we put the drug dog through the cell area where they were, the dog did not detect any drugs that remained there. The overdose comes on the heels of this 2015 review of the Sheriff's Department. It lists excessive amounts of contraband in the two jails, including fruit to make alcohol, inappropriate photos, and heroin. This is not just a problem here, it's a problem in every single detention facility, be it a jail or a prison. Uh, all across the country. The report made a list of recommendations, including frequent and documented cell searches, searching staff before they enter the jail, and changing inmates' underwear from briefs to boxers. Criddle says some changes have been made, others have not. We're bringing on three additional drug dogs, so we will have four in total, and those dogs will do sweeps of the facilities constantly. Now, we do know there is surveillance video, but until the investigation is wrapped up, they're not releasing it. We also know the independent monitor is working with the jail to figure out how this happened. Tonight, four of those inmates are still in the hospital. One is back at the jail here. Reporting live in Denver, Molly Hendrickson, Denver 7. Molly.